The theater is the art of life, the art of human life. Anything that humans do, say, desire, dream, um, all history, everything about humanity is the raw material of what we put on stage. So if you're interested in the theater, you should study people and the world around you and your environment. I usually gather research in any form it can be, but I, I like research you can hold, that tactile sense adds into what you do with the play. So I like books, I like paintings, materials, fabric. I'm able to design the same play over and over again because it's always a different journey, it's always different people, always different things in the script that one can find. So my research is every aspect of human endeavor and human life from the beginning of time to an imagined fantasy of the future. And, and all the permutations of that. It's completely wide open. So I do little preliminary sketches that hopefully don't take a lot of time and that a director could say, oh, I like it this way, I don't like that. I do some color applications, so I try to figure out a color palette and how that all harmonizes with the set and the lighting and, and all of that. And then my final step is to do finished renderings. With my renderings, I like to experiment, try different things, do it in a different way, use different papers, different um, paints. Um, just kind of try to give the emotive quality of the play inside the rendering so it has an atmosphere and it shows a character. I love just having an idea and making it actually happen. And with costumes especially, it's you're creating a person. It's a very big part, like how people dress, how they look is a really big part of what people think about a person. Yeah. It's really interesting to take that and use it as a theater thing that you create, you either create a stereotype so that people recognize the person or you create a stereotype to break that stereotype. And sometimes you just go off in a completely random direction. And it's just, it's a really neat way to create a character and then actually see it come to life. I like productions that have a kind of a collage effect or different things happening inside the same world. Yeah. Um, outside of Lehigh, what I do professionally now is pretty much absurdism and African-American theater. I've been working closely with Erica on learning the sketch, so it's been really interesting to see the changes between when I first started and now. Yeah. She's been a really great teacher. My favorite memory from being here at Lehigh has to involve when students have a real breakthrough or a success on stage. There's some sort of revelation or new understanding or growth that happens inside of a person. It's not something that you can really teach. You, you know, the, the individual has to be ready and open and willing to expand their boundaries of themselves, to expand their sense of self, to include something that wasn't there before.